Start this morning with the start of the last week of early voting. The polls open in less than an hour. We continue to see record-breaking numbers here in Bear County, and Fox Essays Tony Davis is live with the latest numbers. Good morning, Tony. Good morning. Well, that phrase, the early bird gets the worm, definitely applies here. As you can see, the line behind me for early voting, about 20 or so people are here now. They've been lining up since, I would say, about 5 a.m., like right about when we got here. And even over the weekend, I had to wait an hour before I was able to vote. But that seems to be what the norm is when wanting to vote in Bear County. Now, since early voting opened on in October, Bear County has seen an average of over 25,000 daily voters. Some of the most visited sites include the Brook Hollow Branch Library with over 12,000 votes, Encino Branch also over 12,000 votes, and along with Northwest Vista College with similar numbers to date, and in total over 350,000 people have cast their vote according to the Bear County Elections website. Now there is still time to get in on early voting. We just spoke with some election workers that say no matter the age restrictions, if you come here and you have some kind of mobile disability, whether it's a walker, they will be coming around asking if you want to bypass the line and go in or if you're feeling sick, but it's a matter of if you want to. So keep in mind on that and the polls will be open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and through this week up until November 1st. And for a complete list of where the early voting sites are, you can find them on our website, foxsanantonio.com. Reporting live, I'm Tawny Davis. Back to you. All right, Tawny, appreciate it. 705 leaders say it's important to both plan for those long lines when you get to the polling place and also to be patient. They also want you to know about the rules, about what you can and can't wear when you're casting your ballot. As we've reported, two people in two separate cases told to leave a polling spot because of what they were wearing. That's because no political gear is allowed within 100 feet of a polling location. The purple line you see right there is one example of a way to mark 100 feet from that polling site. Anyone who passes that wearing something supporting or opposing a candidate or issue would be electioneering. That is illegal in Texas and could mean a $500 fine. In our reality, I don't, I don't think seeing somebody wearing a, a, a political t-shirt past that line is going to sway my vote. I mean, most voters should have already uh, have made up their minds. Because you hear stories where there's incidences of people shouting, getting aggressive, even um, becoming physical. Well, lots of voters we spoke with say that 100-foot marker wasn't obvious enough. Vice President Kamala Harris and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz will campaign together in Ann Arbor, Michigan today. According to Harris's campaign, she will participate in a rally this evening with a performance by singer Maggie Rogers. Harris is also expected to make two other stops while she's in Michigan today. The vice president has been spending a great deal of time in the battleground state as the election is just eight days away. And former President Trump heads back to Georgia today. The campaign says he will talk about the economy during a rally in Atlanta. Both Mr. Trump and Vice President Harris focused on Georgia and several other swing states. They could be the ones which decide the election.